Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome to a new episode of House of Thieu. Today, I am alone um, because Mabel is actually doing her work um, from home. Uh, something's gonna happen today. Basically, our TNB contractor already called us and they are going to come over to the house and, go and will remove the cable and move it to another location. Not really another location, just that they put it up front to the to the um, side pillar, I would say, of our balcony. So at least it's not stuck from the pole inside. Like it's intruding our house right now. So it's gonna be moved out so that it will be out of the way. And besides that, I suppose in this episode we'll talk about some of the paint um, ideas that we have and also already shared with the contractor. So you will see that as well. But of course that will be after I show you this TNB work. So yeah, I'm currently in the car waiting for them to come over. Uh, they, was, they said they were going to come over at 11. It's really 12 o'clock. So yeah, I'm waiting for them. They said they're on the way. And then I'll show you some of the work that they'll be doing, yeah? So keep on watching the video. So yeah guys, you can see after a, I think a two hour job, the cable is already connected to the pillar all the way up there compared to the old um, place over here. So at least now it looks a bit more neat and tidy. So yeah, that's how, that's what you need to do if you want to remove your cable from your house.
episode that we film after getting married. So. Yeah, it is. Okay. Anyway, our setting doors are in, folding doors are in. Um, it's covered in this ugly blue plastic now, but it's actually a tinted, um, brown tinted glass here, a double layer brown tinted glass, and then it's matte grey. Yeah, matte grey on the frames. But what you're seeing now is actually black because there's a protective layer that's covering it, but it's actually grey. Um, and we chose we chose to do a folding door instead of a sliding door because when you open it up if you do a sliding door you only get half of it because it's slide half or maybe a third if you do a triple sliding door so what we did was a folding door so that when you open it you can have almost the full length of your uh, door open is just about one, one and a half feet here of the door space and everything else is like open here so it's really nice um, you have a big space to walk around especially if you have a lot of people walking in and out of the house or if you just want to have half of it open you still have that option of like closing this and locking it here so yeah, that's half open. So we like that about it. Um, this one is actually um, the Prestige Collection, which is uh, something that we paid a little bit extra. It's a little bit premium because um, usually if you fold the doors out this way, you can see all the hinges here. But when we when we did this one, we requested for the hinges to be hidden by this panel. Otherwise, you can see through the gap in between the two doors. Uh, you can see all the works and all the rollers and all the gaps inside here. But this is covered with another panel. Um, I think the design is also slightly better. The handles inside the locking mechanism is also slightly better. So we went with this one. Hopefully, it's durable. The company has given us a lot of headache. But I think the final product is quite satisfactory. We kind of like the colour and everything. But the installation process was a hassle with them. And we're inside now. If you can see, the walls have already been painted. But I think we'll keep that for the next episode. Actually, in the last episode, we said that we're going to talk about paint in this episode. But we are still waiting for a little bit more paint to go in in a few more areas. So I think we decided to wait until all the areas of the house is fully painted and we are fully happy with all the paints on the wall, the paint coats, and then we will share the whole house paint coats at once, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we still have some feature walls around the hall to choose paint coats for. So I think we'll just do all the paint coats at once in the next episode. But I'm really happy with this um, warm grey kind of colour. And our downstairs bathroom has a door now so everyone can pee in peace and privacy um, it's actually a white color frame with uh, translucent glass this translucent glass color is called apple white so it looks slightly grayish green um, and you can kind of see inside if there's lights inside so if you have lights like this on the inside, you can actually see. So yeah, you can see someone's hand if they press against the door, of course. But if you are like, you know, sitting on a toilet bowl there very far away, you really can't see anything. Maybe just a little bit of a slight shadow, but we wanted to have that kind of like light and airy, translucent feeling. So uh, with toilet doors, I didn't go um, fully, uh, what do you call that? Covered. Covered. So I have a little bit of light coming through, maybe at night, if I just want to illuminate this area a little bit, and I'll just on the toilet light and it can be like, you know, slightly tinted through this glass. So I thought that was a little bit cool. That's one of the lights and there's no lights at all. When the lights are completely shut off, it looks greyish green. So that's very nice. Uh, laundry is all done. Pink coats coming soon, but it's a very light, baby blue grey kind of thing. And we're in our bedroom. 
guys bedroom now which also has another set of folding door it's exactly the same color the same glass color the same frame color the same design as downstairs the only thing is it's half the size so downstairs was eight feet with four panels this one's only four feet with two panels so it's here again it's uh, covered with this blue color plastic to protect it when our workers paint the walls um, but it's actually a brown color tinted glass same thing you can close it up just pull this and do this and it's locked so we went with um, like I said the prestige collection because this handle is a lot more sturdy otherwise the other one is like a tiny latch handle right that isn't really nice to hold so this one's a lot more sturdy it's a lot more open I mean all you need to do is just push this open so you can have almost the full 4 feet um, width of the door fully open so at night if you have parties out in the balcony you can like fully open this door and people can walk in and out with like big chairs and things no problem and the exciting thing is I uh, you showed them when the TNB people come. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so we no longer have a disturbance on our balcony. Last time it was a very annoying, there was a very annoying piece of wire that runs through here. So every time we want to walk here, I gotta like jump over the piece of wire to get here. But now it's like completely um, gone, it's out there now. And um, the wire was actually attached to this wall. So once they cut off the wire, they have cemented it, they have put in the last piece of tile, which is this piece here. So now, tiling is also completely done in the balcony. Um, as you can see, parts of our balcony are already painted. The only wall not painted is here. Um, but our sink and everything is done. I'm not sure if it was done in the previous episode, but now it's like completely done the sink with the tap and the trap and then we installed this thing here so that we can hang um, hand towels or dish towel whenever we do any washing here let's say if we have a, a party out here and we need to wash dishes then this will be hanging cloth and then we have aircon units already installed throughout the house um, how we planned for this house is before we called the aircon dude to come and install the aircon um, we had our contractors um, break a part of the wall so that the aircon dude when they come they can bury the copper piping and also the water pipe inside the wall so you don't see it hanging around so same thing with this aircon here if you see this unit of aircon you can't see any wires coming out from it although the drainage pipe is here so what they did was um, inside this wall right along here actually they have broken a piece of the wall uh, created like a little longkang and then when the guy come he put the drainage pipe inside the wall all the way down and lead it right through this um, pipes waterway so to go down so that's how they drain the water from this aircon and then the top one the top aircon is actually an afterthought um, we thought of not putting it there because that's actually our walk-in wardrobe area but then we had second thoughts about it and we thought that maybe it's easier to just do all the third floor aircon once and for all because um, it's really difficult for people to go up there it's very very high up our house is um, three story in front and the ceiling inside the house is also very very high to begin with so two levels of very very high ceiling creates like a very very high aircon unit up there but so because that one is an afterthought you can actually see the pipe that's outside it's not covered it's a sore eye to me but because it's an afterthought we didn't want to break the wall anymore so you can see the pipe there but what they did was they connected it to the down uh the, the lower unit pipe so it only ends at the second unit down here you can't see it down here so at least when you're standing here you don't see any pipe and we are in our master bedroom now which also has a toilet door now uh, our thought is that when we were choosing doors because the company gave us so much headache and we are not sure what colour or what material to choose we didn't want to commit to the whole house all the bathroom doors so what we did was there's only two 
bathrooms in the house that doesn't have a fridge yet because it's a new bathroom. So um, our guest bedroom and the sharing toilet downstairs already has door frames because we only removed the previous toilet door but we maintained the frame since it was still in good condition and everything. But the master bedroom is actually a newly built toilet because we extended it and downstairs um, for our ground floor, the powder room toilet, that is completely new. It was moved from beside the kitchen all the way to the backyard. So that one doesn't have the door frame too. So what we did was, since we needed to buy the frame for this master bedroom and the downstairs toilet, we decided that these two toilets will be the toilet that we put in the doors first. So downstairs there was white colour frames with a translucent glass panel. This one is also a white colour frame but it's with mirrors. So we decided to go with mirrors here because we are standing now in the walk-in wardrobe. So I don't need to buy another full length mirror to put on any of the walls because this serves as a mirror. So that's actually quite cool. And then we decided that inside the toilet should also have mirror on the other side too. Because number one, it makes the space look bigger. So this one is a mirror too. Number one, it makes the space look bigger. And number two is because of the layout of this toilet, the door and the mirror on the door is not directly facing the WC or the toilet bowl. So it won't be weird because you won't be sitting down and doing your business while staring at yourself in the mirror. So that's why we decided it is okay to put a mirror in here too. And another reason is also because when you put mirror in front, you cannot put a translucent glass panel at the back because sometimes you can see the glue from the front mirror all the way through the back especially when you have very bright lighting shining through so we didn't want a very solid color panel as well because it doesn't look nice so if you can't go with translucent glass and if um, solid glass doesn't look nice the only option is to go with mirror on both sides <laughs> so this mirror actually is really nice when they, when they put the, the frame in, um, actually our contractors weren't very straight when they built the opening for the toilet door. So what they had to do is they had to silicone a little bit around the side. So if you look at this jagged edge here with the white colour thing that they feel inside, that's actually silicone. What the workers now have to do is they have to skim back this part. So maybe they will like fit it in with some skin, they will rub it with sandpaper and then they will repaint it to be flushed. Frame. That's what they did for downstairs. So actually downstairs um, toilet spray is a lot more neat looking than this one because this one's not done yet. So they haven't been up here yet. But actually the whole room has been painted before this frame went in. So I think they have to do a little bit of touch up here. And this icon here is the one that I mentioned is an afterthought. So at first we only thought of putting an icon there where our bed and our sleeping area is at because we thought that, okay, if you're in a bike king, if you're in a budget, um, you have to pick and choose where you want to put your icon. So we thought that this unit of icon could wait until later on. But then later we decided that since the workers going to climb up three stories to install that icon over there, we might as well put in this one as well. So this one went in together with that one, and this one doesn't have a concealed pipe on the outside. Thank God it's on the third floor, and if you don't look up, you probably won't see the pipe, so that's fine. But there's two units of icon here, both Dan King. Actually, we went with a lot of different brands in the house for icon. We didn't just pick one brand. Um, downstairs hall is all Panasonic. And then we have Hayer inside the tiny room downstairs, which is actually Kian's office room. Um, and up here, we have both units of Daiki. So I think maybe in a few months time when we're shifting and we've tried it out for a few months, we can make, do a review on different brands of icon because we, we are not sure when we ask people, everybody have different opinions. So we're like, okay, fine, we'll set a budget for every space's icon and then we'll just go with it with like, of course, reputable brand, not like some off brands that you've never heard of, but reputable brands will just try a few different ones. Of course, the hall gets the better icon because that's the hall, the living hall, that that's when the most people and it's most used. But up here, we don't really mind, so we went with that key. Back in the guest room now because I actually forgot that there is an icon you need up here. This one is actually the same icon that we used downstairs in the dining area, which is a Panasonic one. Um, 
walls are painted I am the most happy about the guest room wall colour compared to any other colour that I've chosen I like it even more than my pink colour walls in my craft room Very very happy with this one And this is our dining area I think we haven't shown them the dining table chandelier yet but It looks amazing because it actually, yeah, it creates a lot of cris uh, like um, like splash. A, yeah, like a starburst pattern on the wall and it carries on downwards to the walls as well. Especially at night when you off all the lights and you just leave this entrance light on. It actually creates a starburst pattern up on the ceiling and then it creates like streaks of light down the wall. Only in the entrance area, it's actually quite magical at night, I quite like it. The only thing that I kind of regret is that the goal on this lighting, the goal hardware on this lighting, is a little bit brighter and a little bit more shiny, a little bit, than our dining table lights. The style of crystal, the long rectangular style of crystal is exactly the same on both, so it actually matches really well. The only thing is that one is more of a brass stone gold, a little bit more muted, a little bit more matte. This one is a really gold gold and very shiny. Okay, so now uh, let me show you the small room that we have over here. This is going to be, um, for now, it's going to be my office. So this is where I'm going to do my work. This is where I'm going to have all my online classes and stuff like that. So come on in. We've got this place uh, painted as well. So you can see that the paint is already up. Um, we have our fan installed. And then we also have our aircon over here. We chose the brand Hayer because we just wanted to test it out. This is the only Hayer in the house. So we're gonna go compare maybe like what we were said just now between the aircon brands and we'll decide on the final. I think we're gonna get what two more icons, something like that? Yeah, one for the craft room, another for the other guest room. So, yeah, so we're gonna try try and do that out. Another reason why we get an aircon as well for this room is because if you notice, there's no windows in this um, between these four walls. So it's going to be a bit hard for, let's say, we get someone to stay over or if this room is going to be converted into a room, we need some ventilation. And Actually, there was, on, yeah, there was a window. There was a window, it's already covered up. It's behind you. Yeah, it's already, it's already covered up basically. So that's why we need some air ventilation, therefore, the air con choice. Yeah. So guys, we are back at the front porch of the house. Unfortunately, we have nowhere else to put the aircon compressor except for up here in the, in the porch. Um, this is a house, it can't be perfect, it's a living house. 
So you have no choice, we have to put it here because um, you can't go upstairs and you can't go to the back because this is for our hall and our dining area. So there's two here, one is a 1.5 horsepower one and up there is a much smaller 1 horsepower aircon. Uh, both by Panasonic, so at least the compressors look the same. But it's a little bit of a sore eye. Good thing is you can't really see it if you're looking straight in from the front because we have this pillar at the side here. The pillar is actually a water drainage from our balcony. So the water drainage pipe goes into the pillar. So actually the two aircon compressor units are covered by the pillar. So you can't really see it that well. But when you're standing here, you can see, you can hear it. It's not that loud, but it's running right now because we're testing out the aircon inside. Um, yeah. It's not really that hot either, so I hope it stays that way. Okay guys, so thank you very much. I think we reached the end of the video. Okay. So today we talked, like I we showed you all from um, the toilet folding door, folding door ins installation, toilet door, the toilet door installation, air TNB, cons. air cons, and all the things in between. So it's a pretty interesting episode, I would say. Yeah, but next episode will be my favorite because then we will talk about all the paints. But like I said, this is a feature wall that's not done. So this yeah. wall we haven't really picked the color for. So we're going to wait until all walls in the house have been painted and all the paints have been finalized. And then we'll share with you guys which paint color we went for because I think our phone... Um, phone? Yeah, like our camera roll is like filled with like... Oh, paint colors yeah. <laughs> that we have to choose it's like so similar but we have to get it right you know it's like just a slight coat makes a lot of a difference so yeah so we'll show you all of those maybe in the next video so thank you again for everyone who who has been watching and stayed on till the end and as usual if you like this kind of content remember to like subscribe share and comment on all the good contents on the channel cheers guys take care bye bye